If you were to talk to me about the Northwestern Railway, you would mostly get as an answer about all the beautiful countrysides, the stations, and maybe the wonderful, wonderful branch lines. Henry, our third engine, was meant to take an important passenger train today. It had the railway board in one coach and the fat and chore in another coach. Hurry up, we're gonna be late. We're trying, we're trying, we're trying! I haven't been able to stretch my wheels out in ages. Workmen were repairing a bridge that had been attacked by the Nazis in World War II. One workman accidentally dropped a tin of paint on Henry. Why have we stopped? Well, let me see here. This doesn't look all clean and good. Engines covered in paint. Hey, you up there! This was your fault! Now, now, Henry. Let's keep going. We need to show the railway board we can prove our ways. Ugh, fine. The paint had gotten into Henry's boiler, because there was a chip in Henry's boiler by accident. Oh, this is so embarrassing, Tom! Now, now, Henry. We can get you washed when someone comes to save us. Oh, this isn't fair. Ugh. A new diesel engine had came to take the train home. Thank you, Boko. You're a lifesaver. Hey, no worries, Henry. I can always be here to help. Goodbye now. And the diesel shunted the train home. Meanwhile, in the far core branch, Thomas was sleeping in a siding when a guard woke him up. Thomas, I need you to go down to the coal mines. Why the coal mines? Just why the coal mines? Thomas said angrily. Come on, come on you stupid trucks. Let's get going in. Thomas knew the trucks wouldn't listen to him. The trucks had ran away and left Thomas in the coal mines. The truck split the rails open and Thomas bashed into some coal! Are you for real? An hour after, Thomas tried getting out, but he had split himself in the coal mines even more, sir. A support beam was knocked over when Thomas accidentally derailed, and the coal mines caved in. A few hours later, Toby and some workmen had came to repair the broken mine, and Toby noticed he heard screaming. Driver, I think we should go in. Right away, Toby. It took two hours before the mines were completed, and they found Thomas. I really am a stupid engine. Oh. There was Toby looking for him. Thomas! Thomas, where were you? I, I was stuck in here all week. Thomas, relax, it's been a day. I'll shout you out. And so they did. That night, the two engines went to sleep peacefully. What happened to Henry? I guess we'll find out tomorrow. What do you think will happen?